Welcome to your daily yoga flow. We begin in child's pose. Take some deep breaths in and out of your nose. Each breath in, allowing your body to expand and open. And as you breathe out, a natural settling into your space, hips to heels, and arms lengthening forward with a gentle press down. And now let's flow into our lateral side stretch, bringing our arms off to one side and our hips stretching away. Taking deep breaths to open up our ribs, our hips, our back. And then when you're ready, let's bring it off to the other side. Creating balance, we bring it back to center. Just allow your head to relax, taking that deep breath to open up your back. And then as we exhale, we're going to round it into our cat stretch. And then flowing to our moving cat and cow. Inhaling, opening, extending, rooting our shoulders into our back and exhaling, tucking our tailbone, using our abs to stretch our back. Inhale. And exhale. Finding our center, neutral spine, we draw our belly and ribs in to support us. Curious cat, looking towards our hips. Bringing it back to center, we're going to go into our cat two stretch, starting with our calf stretch with the right leg back, using your hands to push forward to stretch your heel back, and then lengthening and lifting through your right leg, left arm, feeling the balance of energy forward and back. Continue to breathe, inhaling to lengthen and exhaling to scoop and tuck. And then we're gonna return back to center and then bringing the left leg back, calf stretch. And then flowing into cat two, other side. And deep breaths in and out, keeping the ease through the shoulders and the lengthening through the back of the knee. Now returning back to all fours, we're going to scoop and tuck, and let's roll it all the way up, going into three big shoulder rolls, breathing in, breathing out, and then we're going to continue to scoop and tuck into our cat stretch, again lengthening our arms overhead, and then into a big arm circle, keeping the lower back supported with our cat tuck. Inhale and exhale. Now using our hands to continue to draw the tailbone down, we're going to feel the lift of our chest up to the sky, opening the shoulders and chest. And now flowing into our low lunge, let's bring our right leg forward. Again, just making sure your knee is right over your ankle and slowly bring your hands down. Again, if you need blocks or some support, please use it. And again, we're continuing to gently tuck our tailbone, lengthening our lower back and awakening through our hip flexor. And continue to deepen into the stretch. We can lift our arms up. And again, if that's too intense, bringing it low, you can always bring the leg up a little higher. And then when you're ready, settling into that deeper stretch. And continue to take deep breaths. Now returning our hands back down to the ground, let's go ahead and lift up our back knee, rocking forward and back to continue to stretch through the ankle and calf, and then just settling into the stretch here. Now to deepen our hips, we're going to go into a revolve lunge, again keeping your knee right over your ankle and feeling your hip twisting away. And then we're going to bring it back down to the ground, lowering your knee, hands to thigh, and then slowly pressing away as we go into our hamstring stretch. Continue to intensify the stretch. We roll our hips forward, sits bones back, and flex our foot. Nice long spine and open shoulders. 
and then to release we're going to push down to bring it up and back into our kneeling position tucking into cat and now bringing our left leg forward for our lunge series and we're always moving from our hips Again, we're drawing the energy down with our tailbone and our cat tuck and feeling all that opening through the chest the shoulders and the back of the neck Breathing in, squaring our hips forward, and breathing out to settle into the stretch deeper. bringing it back into camel stretch inhale and as we exhale bringing it to all fours going into our side plank with twists opening up through the top arm tucking your tailbone inhale and then as we exhale we're going to scoop our belly and thread our arm through the bottom again opening inhale keeping the shoulders drop down and exhale now as we bring it back into the stack position arm overhead and back to all fours. Let's do that same thing on the other side. Opening, inhale, and exhale, scoop and tuck. Again, keep twisting your shoulders down into your back, keeping that nice little chin tuck, keeping your ear over your shoulder, and flowing with your breath. And next, we're gonna go into one of my favorite stretches, extended puppy. Again, hips to the sky and arms stretching down and forward. We're gonna bend our elbows into a tricep stretch to continue to deepen into the back of the arms and shoulders. We're inhaling to roll into cow, sits bones up, exhaling to press the chest and shoulders down. And go ahead and lengthen the arms back out and back to all fours. In our toes turn under and our shoulders rooted, we're gonna flow into downward facing dog. A wonderful full body stretch and hips to the sky and chest to the earth as we go into our alternating knee bends breathing in and breathing out and a wonderful stretch in opposition pressing our hands forward to deepen and then we're going to even out our legs hips to the sky heels to the earth and then returning back into camel stretch opening the chest and shoulders now deepening into our hips and lower back, we're gonna go into bound angle, soles of the feet together, sitting up nice and tall. You can bring your hands back behind you to help lift and open up through the chest. Again, as I mentioned before, all the movement comes from our center, from our hips. So we're gonna continue to push down into our seat, rolling our hips into cow. And then as we exhale, we're extending forward. Continue to take deep breaths, inhaling to lengthen, rolling the hips forward, and then visualizing your chest stretching over your toes. You can continue to use your elbows or forearms to press the knees open. And I was going to restack all the way up. We're gonna scoot ourselves forward so we have enough room to roll all the way down. Again, if you have a strap, go ahead and have that right by your side. And just take your time to track it down one vertebra at a time. We're just gonna start here by imprinting navel to spine and hugging our knees towards our chest. Just give yourself a big hug, rocking side to side to massage your back. And now let's go ahead and return our feet back down to the ground, going into hip rolls. Let's lengthen our arms by our side, grounding into our shoulders, back and hips, breathe in. And as we breathe out, scoop and tuck, rolling all the way up, feeling that firm push into your arms and feet, inhale. 
And as we exhale, we're gonna roll it all the way back down, one vertebra at a time. And inhaling, wide back, open shoulders. Exhale, rolling it up, cat tuck. Inhale, and exhale, releasing back down. Now on this next round, we're gonna hold it up into our bridge. Again, you can keep your arms open by your side or interlace your fingers underneath you and rock side to side to bring your shoulders closer together. Inhaling, opening up the chest and shoulders and exhaling, scoop and top, lengthening your lower back. And when you're ready, we're gonna open up the arms, open up the shoulder blades and release it down. And next, we're gonna go into our knee to chest stretch. This is great for continuing to open up the hips, the hamstrings, and that's gonna release a lot of tension to the lower back. Now you can either hold onto the back of your thigh, or if you have a band or a strap, go ahead and place it onto your foot. And again, if you bring it onto the ball of the foot, it will help keep the foot flexed a little bit more. So going into an active knee to chest stretch, we're gonna inhale, knee in, and exhale, lengthen your leg up. We're gonna do that one more time. Inhale, exhale. Now hold it here, get your leg as straight as you can, root your hips and back down to stay supported. And we're gonna go ahead and inhale, lower the leg down, exhale, bringing it up. Again, you can narrow your hands as you bring it down and widen your hands to help assist the leg back up. Inhale and exhale. Now continue to keep both legs stretching from your center. I'm gonna inhale, and as you exhale, you can use your left hand to slowly bring your right leg across your midline. Again, staying grounded through your hips as you breathe in, and exhale, flexing your foot away. Now to deepen into the stretch, you can bring the band into your left hand, opening up your right arm out to the side, and gazing towards your right shoulder. And then we're gonna bring it back to center. Now bringing the bands into your right hand, we're gonna open up our inner thigh. Again, stretching your left leg away, opening up your left arm for balance. And as you exhale, reaching your right heel away. Continue to open up through the hip by drawing your toes down, heel up. Breathing in and breathing out. Use your abs and your arm to help bring you back up. And now we're going to do those three stretches on the other side, starting with our active hamstring stretch. And then going into our leg lower and lifts and keeping that strong imprint of navel to floor, shoulders rooted down into the earth. And now let's hold it up. Nice long legs, stretching and energizing. You can pull the bands gently to deepen and open up through your toes. And then we're gonna go into our IT band stretch. This is a great way to open up through the glutes, the IT band, into the calves, into the fascia of your foot. Stay nice and even with your hips. And then we're gonna bring it back to center and then slowly bringing it into your inner thigh stretch. Continue to inhale to lengthen and exhale to deepen. Again, drawing your toes down and your heel up. And then when you're ready, bring your leg back up, hamstring stretch. And then let's go ahead and bring our right foot into the band as well, feeling that double hamstring stretch to create balance.
ahead and bring our feet down, moving into hip sways. And open up our feet wide, bringing your knees to one side, looking towards your opposite arm, and switch. And keeping your shoulders grounded, inhale through center, exhale. That little tuck through your tailbone to deepen, drawing your knees down towards the ground. And once we've stretched equally on each side, let's go ahead and return back to center, feet together, flowing into our reclined bound angle. Just allowing your hands to rest on your belly, the knees and hips to open and the shoulders and the head to release. Join some deep belly breaths here. As we continue to observe our breath, and to feel our body. We take our time to lengthen our legs out, to open our arms out to the side with our palms open and continue to breathe. into the present moment. We take notice of the sensations our body is feeling connected to the earth. And our next breath in, we take notice of what we're smelling. And as we breathe out, what we're tasting. With our eyes closed, what are we seeing? What are we hearing? And then just take your time. When you're ready, feel your feet moving, your arms. You can open your eyes, bend your knees, reach your arms overhead, and just take a moment mm, to do what feels good. Listening to your body, listening to your breath. Now let's go ahead and roll off to the side. And we're gonna bring ourselves up into a comfortable seated position sitting up tall on our sits bones, feeling our chest lifted, our shoulders open, all that energy through the crown of our head, bringing our hands to our heart, and taking some deep breaths here. Now to seal our practice with our love, gratitude, and our commitment to shine. Namaste.